Hey everyone, Garbage here. You know, a lot of video games give you the ability to create characters that can be customized to look the way that you want. And today I want to show you how that works. So first let's talk about the thing that I find most interesting, which is customizing the character's face and body shape. In games, there are two main ways that a 3D model can be manipulated to change shape. The first way is through the use of an armature in which you have a 3D model rigged to a set of bones that control portions of the mesh. This is great for general animation and anything that requires a lot of movement because the armature can manipulate large sections of the 3D model very quickly and efficiently. The other way is by manipulating the individual vertices of the mesh through the use of something called blend shapes or shape keys. This is a way to change the shape of a 3D model without the use of an armature. And often Sometimes it's used for things that require a lot of fine detail like facial expressions and talking animations. It's not nearly as efficient for working with large areas or for full body movements, but it can be done. When assigning blend shapes to a 3D model, you first need to start with an unmodified mesh that serves as your baseline. This is the model's default appearance. Then using various 3D sculpting tools, the mesh is modified in whatever way the artist sees fit and that new appearance is marked as a blend shape. Once the model is exported, it contains the data for both the default and modified versions of the mesh, which can be smoothly blended together to create a number of in-between shapes as well. What's even better is that a model can contain multiple different blend shapes that can also be blended with each other, creating a nearly infinite number of variations that work seamlessly with pre-existing armature animations. This is especially useful for games that allow you to choose from multiple different body and face types for your character because there doesn't need to be a brand new model for every possible variation. But what about clothing and accessories? Usually character creation involves more than just changing the shape of your character's body. So how does that work? Well, it depends. For small accessories and clothing items like hats and certain types of jewelry, usually it's enough to just attach them to anchor points on the character's armature because they're small and they won't interfere too much with the rest of the model as it moves around. Uh, changing things like the character's skin color and the color of their clothes is also very easy and can be done with some simple shaders or by loading in a different texture. But things get a little more complicated when it comes to clothes that have to move and conform to the character body while animated. It can be difficult to add clothing to models without a bunch of clipping issues and other visual glitches. There are a lot of techniques to mitigate this and so maybe that's something that we can explore further in a future video. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you know of any video games that have a very high degree of customization. One game that I know about is Kenshi, which allows you to customize pretty much every aspect of your characters, which I find quite impressive. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a nice day.